The man whom God had chosen to rule as king over Israel had disobeyed God's commandments, which displeased the Lord. God had rejected Saul as king, and he had found someone else to fill the role. God spoke to his prophet Samuel and told him to go to Jesse of Bethlehem because God had chosen one of his sons to be the next king. But Samuel said, How can I go? If Saul hears about it, he will kill me. The Lord said, Take a cow with you and say, I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Invite Jesse and his sons to the sacrifice, and I will show you which of his sons to anoint as the new king. Samuel set out for Bethlehem, and when he arrived there, the town's elders met him. Fearful of the reason for Samuel's visit, they asked him, Do you come in peace? Samuel replied, Yes, I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Consecrate yourselves and come to the sacrifice with me. Then he dedicated Jesse and his sons to the Lord and invited them to the sacrifice. When they arrived, Samuel saw Jesse's son Eliab and thought, Surely this is the man the Lord sent me to anoint as the king. But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not consider his appearance. I do not look at people based on outward appearance. I look at the heart. Jesse called seven of his sons to pass in front of Samuel, and each time Samuel said that this was not the son God had chosen. Samuel asked Jesse, Are these all of your sons? Jesse replied that his youngest son was out tending the sheep. Samuel said, Send for him. We will not sit down until he arrives. Jesse sent for his youngest son, David, and had him brought before Samuel. He was glowing with health and had a fine appearance and handsome features. Then the Lord said to Samuel, Rise and anoint him. This is the one. So Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the presence of his brothers. And from that day on, the Spirit of the Lord came powerfully upon David. Samuel then left and went to Ramah. The Spirit of the Lord had filled David, but it had departed from Saul. In its place, a harmful spirit from the Lord came upon Saul and tormented him. Saul's advisors said to him, See, a spirit from God is troubling you. Let our Lord command his servants here to search for someone who can play the lyre. He will play when the spirit from God comes on you, and you will feel better. So Saul said to his attendants, Find someone who plays well and bring him to me. One of the servants answered, I have seen a son of Jesse of Bethlehem who knows how to play the harp. He is a brave man and a warrior. He speaks well and is a fine-looking man, and the Lord is with him. Then Saul sent messengers to Jesse and said, Send me your son, David. Jesse gave David a young goat as well as a donkey loaded up with bread and a container of wine to take to Saul. David entered into service for Saul. Saul liked David very much, and he became one of his armor bearers. Then Saul sent word to Jesse, saying, Allow David to remain in my service, for I am pleased with him. Whenever the Spirit from God came on Saul, David would take up his lyre and play. Then relief would come to Saul. He would feel better, and the Spirit would leave him.